serves up for this edition of Getting to Know the Rockets as we welcome in the head women's tennis coach, Tracy Montler. Coach, thanks so much for joining me today. We're still in the early stages of the season, but how are you liking the progress you're seeing from your team? Thanks for having me. I love talking about my team. Um, I have a great group of seniors, so I think that uh, we've had a great start. I think any coach would tell you leadership is a huge deal on a team, whether you have 50 people on your team or eight, like I do. And so I, that great group of senior leadership, I think, has helped us off to a great start. This is now your 21st season leading the Rockets. When you think back mm -hmm. to 2003, what are those biggest changes that you feel like you've made upon the program? I just remember uh, that first year being incredibly difficult. Um, and the year after, and the year after, and the year after. I, I think for me, um, you know, I was learning on the fly quite a bit, and I think that, you know, experience is the best teacher, and so we've come a long way, and sometimes when I think back to those first five, six years, it's like night and day, really, you know, where the program is at, and I think that all kind of starts with uh, recruiting, and, you know, my, I always wanted to get, uh, you know, the best talent from the Midwest, but it took a really long time. Um, to get the kind of players that I wanted. But once you start getting them, it's kind of like the domino effect. And, and I think, you know, people, the, the reputation just gets better and better. And people are like, oh, well, you know, this certain player that had, you know, a great reputation as a junior, she went to Toledo and she did well. So maybe I'm going to go to Toledo. And that's kind of how it started. It just, you know, it's taken a really long time. It must be very rewarding to see where the program is at now. And after nearly two decades, what do you feel like you love so much about Toledo that's kept you here? I, I love Toledo. I mean, I bleed blue and gold. Like, it's... Um, and I think that, that to be successful, you have to be like that. Um, I love this place. I love the people. Um, obviously, you know, I met my husband here. We've raised three boys here. We live five blocks from campus. Like, I love Toledo. But I think people make the place. And, you know, when I'm recruiting, that's my pitch. You know what I mean? Like, we're not by a beach. It's not 80 in February here. Although this February has been pretty Very epic. Pleasant. But... Uh, yeah, that's my pitch. It's like about the people and you're gonna be part of a family and that's what I think this has made um, This program kind of just climb the ranks. It's always been about like the, the group and the culture and making these student-athletes put them in an environment where they feel like safe and confident and just trying to get the best out of them. Oh, that's so beautiful the way that you talk about the program and your team. But I always end these segments with a little bit of rapid fire. So we're actually going to pick up where we just left off, which is you've lived in Toledo a very long time. What is your favorite place to eat in the city? I love Mancy's. I love all the Mancy's restaurants. Uh, my husband loves the steakhouse. I, I would agree. Um, I'm going with that. All right. I haven't dined there personally, so now I've got to take your okay. recommendation. Yes. yes. What major would you most like to attend for tennis and why? So I've been to the U.S. Open many times. Um, it's, it's an incredible tournament, but I, I would have to go with Wimbledon. Just the history, 100%, um, I would love to go there. And then finally, I know in the past, you used to be a social studies teacher. What was your favorite topic to teach over those two years that you were in the classroom? We got to go through the countries and learn about cultures, which is kind of cool because, you know, throughout my, even though my team is mostly Midwest, like I always have probably like three international players on my team. And so I think there's that little connection there. Oh, that's such a cool way to blend the two together. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining me today and helping us get to know you better. Thanks for having me.